some big news so, today. Mathematicians revealed that using some research, Robert Pattinson is the best looking man in the world. I wanted to know what you said. Pattinson beat Brad Pitt, Idris Elba, you, me, Harvey. I, I, I love, and Harvey too, Harvey. I love Pattinson. Great guy, very good looking. There's nobody on the planet better looking than Brad Pitt. Better than Brad Pitt. Come on. Okay. Of my whole entire trip to the Oscars was there is one I've been in the business long enough now to pretty much feel like you've met everybody yeah. you've interviewed everybody you don't really get starstruck like there are certain people like whoa this is cool but doesn't it overwhelm you sure. the one person who I've always wanted to meet oh, oh. who I literally felt like a child <laughs> <laughs> hey, that person who was after he won his Oscar was Brad Pitt <laughs> When I tell you, I absolutely love Brad He's Pitt. Good, for sure. I think I scared him. He's like, let me get, get me get out of here. <laughs> I so, think he gets that all the time. But, but he he wanted the Oscar. That was literally right after, because Robin and I were in the audience, and we yeah. said, well, let's go backstage. She was going to interview him. Okay. And then she says to me, why don't you stick around and do the interview with me? And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> and she said, why not? That's because it's kind of like you meet somebody, and I don't want to be. I want to be cool. I don't want to be corny. You know what I mean? So I was like, no, I got to leave before he gets back. Because if he gets back and he sees me, then it's going to be corny. So I got to yeah. go. Well, he's going to see this. Oh, I didn't think he was going to see this. Okay. I, all right. Well, I love Brad Pitt. The highlight of my yes. trip that made my Oscars. Congratulations. That's very cool. That's very so all of a sudden, I've become a figure, which isn't me. You know, I mean, this idea. Uh, you know, the sexiest man alive, you look Brad Pitt. There's no way on that. You know, in my wildest dreams, I wish I looked like Brad Pitt. <laughs> but <Yeah>. I don't. <laughs> so when I look at it, and, and I, I kind of say it's it's somehow a symbol, but it isn't me. But it's kind of interesting to see. Uh, I was sitting down. I didn't realize I was joking. Someone asked me, if you ever be on Saturday Night Live, would you like Ben Stiller or Brad Pitt? To, 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 to play you. You know, with no insult to Ben Stiller, I would say, well, of course, Brad Pitt. <laughs> so when I was um, sitting in front of the TV, I was completely surprised by it. But I have to say, in credit uh, to his terrific talent, I'm a big Brad Pitt fan. Um, a, a, he did a great job of, of the imitation, particularly his gravelly voice was, was absolutely perfect. But he showed really a bit of class because when it was over and he took his headpiece off and very seriously thanked not only me, but all the healthcare workers who were taking care of people in a very difficult situation. So he took a really great funny skit, but added a degree of seriousness to it, which I think was appropriate given the circumstances we've been in. Did Quick and the Dead that kind of took you out of the running? For what? For an interview with a vampire. No, I didn't get interview with a vampire. I went up there to meet him and I didn't get it. Is that something that you wanted to do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Basically, I went up there and I went to New Orleans and I met him and I said, yeah, I'd like to work on this movie. Because it was with Brad Pitt and I like Brad Pitt. I think he's a good actor. Do you have Let's talk about Brad first because to me there's something Whatever it is in terms of time and where he is in his career and this part, whatever the fuck it is, it's just magical seeing him on screen. He's so soulful, um, I, right? I mean... Uh, he's great. <laughs> You have, I mean, like, I enjoy I mean, like mouth, so like saliva, like drooling out of your mouth, watching what he was giving you. It must have just been like, how the fuck did I end up well, here? Brad, this no, is... Well, Brad, more than anybody else I've ever shot, Brad has this aspect that when you look through the viewfinder at him, you feel like you're sitting at the Cinerama Dome watching the movie, all right? And like you're not on a set of Fairfax and cars are driving by you. You feel like you're in a movie theater right. as you're looking at, at him in the, in the viewfinder. Because uh, it just feels, you know, it feels like a movie yeah. <laughs> when you see him in a, in a good movie. Yeah. Je rêve de lui la nuit, beaucoup trop, c'est Brad Pitt. Je rêvais d'être Jennifer, après je rêvais d'être Angelina. Et je l'ai aimé dans Thelma et Louise, tout jeune. Je l'ai aimé dans Fight Club. Je l'ai aimé dans, dans Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. J'ai aimé sa contribution en tant que producteur. Si vous allez fouiller un petit peu ce que Brad Pitt a produit, c'est vraiment très cool. Et ça a l'air d'être un mec trop bien. Voilà, je pense que je vais faire un album qui va s'appeler Brad Pitt. Je vais juste faire son éloge pendant 55 minutes. 
je rêverais de jouer avec Brad Pitt. J'ai l'impression que, que c'est un acteur qui a une grande valeur travail en lui. Et il le fait avec une grande élégance. Le travail ne se voit pas, mais on sent que c'est un grand travail. Et pareil, je suis assez fascinée par, par son humour, par, par sa finesse, son esprit. J'aime beaucoup comme homme comment il est engagé dans, dans ce monde, dans cet environnement. Oui, je rêverais de travailler avec lui. Je rêve, mais... Yo 情怀的东西。In this one man show you're going to talk as you said uh, about a lot of personal stuff. Uh, very famously in the 1980s you were uh, married to Robin Givens yes, and yeah. you are going to talk about the fact and this is something I did not know that after your divorce you guys were still somewhat involved. Well, I don't know. We were just you know, I mean, um yeah, during our crazy marriage, right? Where you know, I'm saying, you're a thief, you're a gold digger, you're a abuser, you beat me up. Like, I don't know. I was just a young kid, and I, I missed my wife, and so I know. So even after you were divorced, you would sometimes yes. go over to her house. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Yes. That's yes. your. Now, uh, you, you tell a story about uh, what you used to drive over there at night, and and. No, no. This is the morning rump, you know, and um. <laughs> I go to the house, I ring the buzzer, no one's there. I go back to my car. Mm -hmm. Okay, they might be working. And as I go to my car, she drives up. Oh, right, it's going to happen, it's going down. She drives up with the handsome Brad Pitt. I said, oh, man, I ain't going to get no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt is the international symbol for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta think. Brad Pitt sees you. He he's gotta he's gotta be scared because she's yeah. pulling up with your ex-wife at her house and you're sitting there in a car. I was just um, emotionally comatose because I went from a heart I went from a heart stallion to a wet noodle and it just totally overwhelmed me. You know? <laughs> it totally. I, I had no energy to fight or anything. Yeah, yeah. I have. <laughs> Finally, a story I can relate to. <laughs> she loves Sloss. What do you love? What will she do for you? The only thing that I love on par with Sloss is, is Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. I have a real strong, strong feelings about really? Brad Pitt. Yes. Yeah. I always have. For how long? When did this start? I guess start? like 94, whenever Legends of the Fall, when he was Tristan uh, in Legends of the Fall. <laughs> wow! There's three people in the country that can wear that outfit and pull it off. Yeah. And he is killing it. Yeah. I mean, you got the landscapes and the horseback and these outfits and the bleached hair. It's just, he just is something else. So. He has a temper, he's flawed. He has a temper? He's a well rounded character. He's, he's flawed. Yeah. You know, he goes on that weird Siddhartha boat ride. I don't know what that was about. But I stuck with him. I was in. So you, so you really, really do feel this way about Brad? I, I honestly do. I really am obsessed with him. He's also got great taste. I love all of his movies. He's a phenomenal producer. Yes. Uh, yeah, 12 Years a Slave. We wouldn't have that without him, probably. Um, and, I, yeah, I just really... He's a philanthropist. Uh, he's a philanthropist. He's aging so gracefully. He really is. I don't, he needs a line of products because he looks gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this son of a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you I, know I'm here to promote Brad Pitt, I know, right? it's obvi yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously so, and I wish that I could say, hey, here's Brad. I would start crying yeah. and I for I know. I should have tried it, but I, I didn't think that you would fall for it because you're too smart. I'm so savvy. Uh, not that she wasn't smart, that she would right. fall no, for it. No, she's the, not very smart. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, 
She can sing, though, yeah. and that'll get you many places. But, but wait a minute. So you were near Brad and Angie at the Oscars. I know you were, because I, I saw where you... Because you were the host of the uh, Oscars. Then, but well, yeah. then I was in that area where the pizza was being... Did you... Did Wait, had you met him before? No, I had never met him, nor did I even want to, because I would be afraid I wouldn't be able to talk to him. Um... <laughs> So what had happened was, what people don't understand about the Oscars, or maybe they do, I didn't understand, is it's 23 hours long. Yes. <laughs> and I'm 6'3", and it, you're in a folding chair with some light padding. And it was really exciting for four or five hours. You Again, where you were great. But I started getting paralysis, I uh -huh. think. So I said, I need to get some circulation. So I, I left, and I went to... I was also starving, Okay. So I left, I went to the bathroom and just stood in a stall for like 20 minutes, <laughs> just trying to get everything to wake up. Then I found like a real bad bag of trail mix <laughs> backstage, ate that, came back. You guys are just finishing up pizza. <laughs> yes. Everyone had been having a blast as soon as I left. Yeah. The pizza came out. So I'm walking back to the seat. I notice everyone's eating pizza, I'm bummed out, and I'm facing Kristen, getting to my seat, and she starts pulling my leg. She goes, he's talking to you, he's talking to you. And I turn around, and Brad Pitt is talking to me from four rows up. He goes, we love your movie. And in that moment, I completely forget that I've directed a movie, because I just forgot. And I go, what? <laughs> And he, I swear to God, goes, we love, <laughs> like Bieber, your movie. And I was just standing there, and I go, um, well, I'll be dead in two hours, because it won't get better than this, so I'm going to end it, but thank you. I sit down, and I am not lying. The second I sit down, the in memoriam starts up. I'm smiling ear to ear from the <laughs> best compliment of my life. And the sad music starts, and we start cherishing the folks we've lost. And I'm like this, and I'm having to remind myself, hey, they might pan to the audience, and Old Shepherd's getting a first trip to the Oscars. <laughs> It was nearly uh, impossible for me to not uh, smile. I'm not uh, kidding. Chris was like, okay, hon, 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 hon. Get it together. I, I never got it together. Uh, we left. There's photos of me leaving an hour later, like, still smiling. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, we have to take a break. Uh, we come back. I have a little gift for you. We're back with Dax Shepard. I just want to give you your gift because I don't want to run out of time. Let's give Dax his gift. A question, because I haven't seen you since uh, you guest hosted, and we surprised you with a clip of Brad Pitt that I haven't talked to you. Let's let's. We haven't everybody. spoken. We about haven't it. spoken no. since this. So this is what we surprised him with, and then I want to ask you sure. about that. Do you know that Dax Shepard has I, a crush I, on you? I, I I have a bit of a crush on Dax Shepard. Wow. I'm still not over it. Like, yeah. when I see it again, I, I, I'm not over it. Yeah. Um, first of all, dangerous move for you to, to just do as a surprise while I was guest hosting, because as I've learned, this is, there's a lot of balls in the air here. Yeah. Okay? You're juggling really quickly. Yes. And you get hit with something like that, love of your life, <laughs> telling you it's not unrequited. In fact, he likes you back. Yeah. That's overwhelming. Yeah. But I, I proceeded on, and you we finished the show. I landed yeah. the plane. But I went on a date with him. What did you I'm not kidding you. That's wonderful. Where did you go? What In did you Brad do? Pitt fashion, it was spectacular. We took a helicopter. You think I'm lying. We took a helicopter to a motorcycle track. We both love riding motorcycles. And just the two of us just took a jaunt up to this motorcycle track. I felt like Pretty Woman. <laughs> I did. I felt like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. I, I was waiting for him to set that chopper down on Rodeo and let me just go wild in one of those stores with his credit card. If it had happened, it wouldn't have surprised me. It was, yeah. that, it was that incredible. Wow. And so we went up, and, uh, you know, he's everything you'd hope. He attacked that track like his character from Troy. Uh -huh. He's a warrior on two wheels. 
Uh, single regret. Uh, you know, when you ride motorcycles, you're head to toe leather. So I wasn't seeing trapezia, no abs. Oh. So next date, hopefully, will be to some kind of beach community where we can okay. splash around a little bit, oh, you know? Well, then invite him to that. That's, your, that's uh, on that's, you now. Brad, yeah. let's hit the beach, my friend. All right. We'll show him next time he's here. I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's not a great movie. Brad Pitt It's one of my favorites. Um, I think I got a man crush on Brad Pitt. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a gentleman. He's uh, he's good looking, and you know he's he's the man, in my opinion. I, you buy that from I him? I don't. I don't. I don't know. You know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, Brad, you're. I mean, you're very designy, and yeah, he's designy. Yeah, there's a lot. He's kind of garish like. There, there is. There is. I mean, but yeah, in, in no, a way, he's designy. Designy. you are. In, in, it's well said. It's kind of designy. <laughs> In, in, in a way that I'm sure yes. well, yeah. he does, I and mean, it's his passion, his architect. It's, 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 I don't think I don't think he makes a big show out of it, but um, yeah. you're, he, he's a, he doesn't want to hear it. From, but he's a, he's yeah. like he's a very gifted fella in that right. regard. And I have watched, we've done a little hanging out, and I've watched him. You know how he kind of tweaks a couch yeah. or this or yeah. that or whatever. Right. And um, I, I could see you losing your mind, but I could also see it a great becoming work. some, yeah, like I, I yeah. think you'd... I would. What was it like, though, to be on this set working with Brad Pitt? I mean, the fifth degree got you to this point. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's just been a, a combination of my martial arts experience and then, you know, my journey as an actor, and they just melded for this dream role. And, you know, working with Brad was just surreal because... When you're on a set with Quentin Tarantino, even Brad Pitt, you know, mm -hmm. megastar, super amazing actor, even he's excited, right? Mm -hmm. And he's giddy about right. working with Quentin. So. How was the casting process for you? It was, uh, it was like a two-month process. <laughs> and I just wow. remember the first day I got a call from my agent and they said, because I live in Wisconsin, in Ma Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. So I was teaching a martial arts class. My agent calls and they say, hey, Quentin's doing a new movie and Bruce Lee's in it. Uh, but that we need you in L.A. We need you in I, L.A. tomorrow. So I hopped on a flight that night, and that kind of began. And two yeah. and a half months. That's a crazy. Long that's intense, process. right? It's intense. It's yeah. intense. So you spent what eight weeks with Brad Pitt? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, through the beginning, from when I met him, through uh -huh. the end of filming. Yeah. So you've got some stories. <laughs> yeah, I got some stories. I mean, the thing that I feel like most women <laughs> want to know. Oh God. Uh oh. Uh, what? How much what? does he eat? Like, is he constantly eating on set? Like, I just feel like every movie he's in, he's got peanut butter, he's got, like, a, like a salad or a sandwich. He's always eating. Is you that, know, now that you well, mention it, he, he does always have, like, this stash of stuff. Right? Yeah, and I'm like, Brad, can I have some of that? He's like, no. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, like, Brad is, um, you know, they say never meet your heroes, but mm -hmm. he, my opinion of him is tenfold even better than it already was. He's such really? an amazing, down-to-earth guy. He, yeah. he made me feel so welcome on set, which, you know, he doesn't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt is the leader of this crew uh, yeah. in the movie, and um, it, was he, is, is Brad Pitt somebody that you were excited to be around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, yes, Brad Pitt. Yeah, he's a hero. He's a hero. He's a hero. Um, and being around him, you know, like, uh, I watched Pena on the show the other day, and he was talking about how, uh, yeah, you know, we called him Top the whole time. Because I think, he, I mean, his name's War Daddy in the movie. We always called him Top because he's Top Dog. So from the beginning, he was always Top. And, and Pena was talking about how he didn't get hit. That dude went for it like we all went for it. It was just, you know, we were all vying for his attention, and we all wanted him to like us, so none of us wanted to be the guy that hit him really hard. Well, you you're know? talking about you, the director had you guys fist fighting on oh, yeah, set every day which is the, the, one of the craziest things i've ever heard i mean really it worked it worked it bonded us you can only get so much out in a conversation i mean with, with a bunch of boys in that kind of setting fighting is really intimate when you're fighting the other guys though do you ever get mad at each other it's like hey you went a little bit too far no or... we love each other you do yeah okay. oh, yeah we love each other because even brothers who love each other will get mad at each we other we get mad sure i mean well, not, i'm not saying we don't get mad we, we you know but we love each other you know it dies when we leave and so brad was kind of as the top dog as you say almost like the bachelor and the bachelor Bachelorettes yeah, all like, around trying to like, gain curry favor from him. Exactly that. It's like having five dudes on a date with one girl. You know? <laughs> Everyone's really trying to get close, you know, all the time. He's super supportive of all these projects. He gave us, there's like an Ad Astra interview that he was doing, I don't know if you saw that, a couple weeks ago. 
he just shouted out the king randomly, and the interviewer was actively asking him a question about Ad Astra, and he was like, "Well, right. let's talk about the king." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brad is is one of those rare people. There's only a handful of them that have consistently brought movies with great nutritional value. And he said, "You need to immediately look like a guy that is capable of saving the world." And uh, you know, Brad Pitt really. F- it up for everyone because in Fight Club he looked so incredible that he just raised the bar to this very lofty place of what is now expected of everybody that's going to take their shirt off in a movie so I told my wife that guy he's as cool as it gets and I I've said to my wife uh I told you that. I said you know I, I I've always said I'd, I'd never leave my wife for another woman but there's a chance <laughs> I might leave her for Brad. <laughs> He's just, yeah. just that wonderful. Yeah. He has, well, also, she, she would have to understand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, Absolutely. She's like, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah he has like, that thing it. where you, I, you see men all the time, and then you see Brad Pitt and you go, oh, I get it. I get why. <laughs> I get why people, women yeah. would want to be with that man. That's an incredibly good-looking guy. Do you think uh, this interview could get more gay? Like, just the two of us? <laughs> I do. You know what I mean? The, the, with the I do think there's... Talking I about... think there's three ways it could get more gay. There's a... <laughs> we are here to check out Brad Pitt's glam bot at the Oscars this year. I cannot tell you how stoked I was. I heard that he was walking down the carpet... A few minutes before he came to my booth, it's like all the buzz was about Brad Pitt. All the producers that, that I work with were like, oh, he's been doing a lot of press. He's been super fun lately. So like, let's, fingers crossed, like hopefully we get him. Super just anxious for the eight minutes or whatever, he was walking down the carpet. And then we saw him coming down. We beelined it over to him. We snagged him over and he was literally like the coolest guy. He's up there for my favorite this past year, just cause like, he's such a legend. He's an icon. Give me the cool high five at the end there. Uh, and just did a sweet, sweet move. I mean, it's so funny. You see it in real time and you're like, oh, that was cool. <laughs> and then in some way you're like, oh man, that was sick. So, uh, let's, let's get into some of the stuff. I, I know, uh, you wrapped up some big movies, the, the woman in the window, uh, yeah. the outside story, but right now you're filming a movie with Brad Pitt called, uh, yeah. Bullet, Bullet Train. Uh, yes, Bullet Train. Did you know Brad at all before this? You know what? I was fortunate enough to meet Brad. I think it was around the time we were doing um, press for If Bill Street Could Talk, because, you know, his company, Plan B, was a part of the production of it, producing it. Yeah. And you have that moment where, like, I think this was a part of my career where I still was just not really sure I was in the right room. Like, <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to be here in this room and then brad pitt and the thing is when you are standing there and brad pitt is walking towards you you have like that your body wants to do this thing of like make sure you say the right thing make sure that you're like upright and make sure that you're like look him in the eye you know and of course me i'm like all right this is brad pitt he's coming up and he's like hey man i'm a fan of yours you know I'm, I'm pretty much like watching everything you're in and my voice went to this octave that i've never really this falsetto <laughs> that just never and it's just like Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was like, why did I like it just like a register that just goes that you don't like thank you. Yeah. Uh, so. he, he must know he must hear that all the time though, because everyone probably freaks out. I think that I did it again when I got on set with him because he was like, Hey B, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm doing that right, are you? That's, that's, <laughs> hey, Brad, that's like, <laughs> but it was great. It was great. Take War Daddy, but only War Daddy is Brad Pitt. Just so I can have a little bit of banter with him, ask him some questions. Just, I love Brad Pitt. I'd love to meet Brad Pitt. I'd Just, love to meet Brad Pitt. I mean, he did make Fight Club. Yeah. To your show, but I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is pretty big. Brad Pitt came to your yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Your first show. That's that's a that's a facial expression I have called playing it cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> By the way, you know that's my wife. Yeah, uh, she seems to be tucking herself right in there to Brad. And she is her.
face is so close to his chest. That's my wife, Jen. And he was so sweet. He came to the office and he came backstage and we're talking and then they go, Mike, you have to go out and sign. Jen and I wrote a book together. It comes out Mother's Day and so people will pre-order, I sign a poster in the lobby. They go, Mike, you gotta go out and sign the posters. And I go, I was like, oh, nice to meet you, Brad. I go out. And I'm signing for 15 minutes, and then I said to the stage manager, hey, can you grab Jen? Because she's supposed to sign, too. And, she, and the stage manager goes back, and she's still talking to Brad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and says, excuse me, Mike wants to see you. And then she comes out, and, and I never thought in my whole life I'd hear the words from my wife. She said, you ruined my conversation with Brad Pitt. <laughs> but, you know, I defend that, you know, because you? I'm just trying to save my marriage here. You know, it's like, show up in Hollywood. Next thing you know, you got Brad Pitt hitting on your wife, and it's like, it's like, where, what about the regular people? Yeah, I know. Uh, what are you going to do? He's but really, if Brad Pitt wants your wife, you just have to give them to her. I think that's how it is. Right. No, no, her to him, right? That's how it is, yeah, this yeah. This is a, you got a nice review. The, it, back in the audience yet? I, I, you know, I felt Brad Pitt. We didn't talk, but I saw the aura, and I was like, He really cool. does have an aura, oh, though, right? An aura. You feel his energy. You can't even, I mean, you've seen it. Uh, people watching, if you've never seen him in person, it's, you can't. It's unexplainable. It's you so can't. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel it's him like, before you see him. It's like, how do you talk about love? Like, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta feel it. You can't, yeah. It's, it's so too. true. So one of my favorite questions to answer, and I get this whenever I'm talking with film journalists or, or critics, is, wow, how good is that Brad Pitt? And I get to smile and say literally my favorite thing to esthetes, which is no shit. <laughs> I watch actors for a living. I watch auditions and screen tests and rehearsals and dailies and the occasional premiere. Um, the task of acting is multifaceted. There is the grand overriding two-hour arc that one might call the performance. There are the subtle behavioral hints at a lifetime of backstory, often referred to as the characterization. And then there is the moment, and that's the character at rest, a person idling. And for me, this is the test, the ultimate challenge. No intention, no witty banter, no dramatic change of trajectory. You just roll the camera and be. And this is the gift to your film that Brad Pitt brings. Like a supple suede jacket, he form fits his characters to the overall narrative and he shows up for more than the big beats. He idles smoothly at 3,000 RPMs in the most fractal of moments, between speeches, between stunts, between moments that most actors actually choose a role for. Showing you a stuntman's lifetime on set just by the way he reclines in a golf cart. Or illuminating years of an astronaut's space travel weary by way of an emotionally bottled pre-flight psych eval. So few people in the history of movies have been good at this that we annex them to a special tier. People like Bogart or Cary Grant or Jimmy Stewart or Paul Newman. They exist on celluloid in a way that mere mortals can't. They have a comfort and ease that cannot be faked or sadly duplicated. You started this bit where you have, and we talked about this before, yeah. You have a, a weatherman uh, who, who reads the weather, and yeah. it, you got Brad Pitt to do it. Brad, well, Brad Pitt asked to be on the show, and I said, sure, I think he was going through a divorce or something, I don't know. And, um... <laughs> you don't read the yeah, papers I much. I don't, something was... He had some time. Yeah. Anyway, so... <laughs> so, so he said he'd come on the show, and then he did it, like, five or six times. Yeah, we have a picture of him here doing the weather on your show. Yeah. yeah. And, That's... And then what happened was, it got to the stage where we did six of them, and I thought, he can't be enjoying this anymore. He must have more of a life than this. And so I asked Seth Rogen to do it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And, and now I feel... I, so I, Seth Rogen's doing it now. Yeah, and then I bump into Brad Pitt, and Brad Pitt goes to me, so you replaced the weatherman. And I'm like, ah, oh, I think I've upset him. We have a weird thing. I have a huge crush on Brad. <laughs> he is, he's just so wonderful. He's like even more handsome when you meet him. He does a wonderful thing when you tell a story to him. He touches his forehead, then shows his teeth. You go, you go, oh, so anyway, so my dad took a picture of the booth. And he goes, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. 
Yeah. I gotta learn that. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So he took pictures of the booth. Then what happened? And then I'm like, I'm not very handy. And he goes, I don't get it. Anyway, so... <laughs> so so I, I... You pissed off Brad Pitt. I, don't, I, think, I think we're friends. We've got each other's number. But whenever I text him, I get a little bit nervous. Like, I could text you, all right? I've met you a lot. And I, if you didn't text me back, also, I'd, let's I'd be move on. on with me day. Yeah. Right? Well, and then, look, I, I can admit it. You know, I'm not Brad Pitt. No. You know, no shocker. But you can text Conan O'Brien. And if, you, if I don't get back to you, it's, it doesn't ruin your day. I text Brad Pitt one time. And we, we, well, every other time we text about the weatherman part. And then I just text him, like, uh, like hey, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's about four hours past, I was a mess. I, <laughs> I, was, I was walking around Thanksgiving going, oh, I shouldn't have done it. I put an emoji at the end. Oh, no. <laughs> What's he going to think? There's an emoji. <laughs> There's well, a desperation to an yeah, emoji. Yeah, yeah, I was sweating out. I'm eating turkey and my ex is there with a football boyfriend, my girlfriend, the kids. They're all panicking. It takes a village. And, <laughs> and they go, I'm sure he'll text back. And then, beep, beep, beep. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, man. <sighs> what the heck? Here it. Oh, we see you there, Henry, geeking out over Brad. At the SAG Awards, it was his wife who was hoping for a pit stop. Every time we stopped at a red light and there was another limousine, the window went down, and she would yell out the window, Brad, are you in there? Brad, put, the wi put your window down, Brad. And then I finally uh, saw him. Me. And how was that moment for you? I played cool. Yeah. He is cool. Absolutely. You get Brad Pitt to do your movie. That's just about the best thing you could possibly hear. Um, he's a brilliant, brilliant actor. Uh, I don't consider all that other stuff. He's a movie star, fabulous guy. All that's true. But when you get right down to it, he's a tremendous actor. And I was only so lucky to have him. Uh, favorite actor or actress? You know, I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Like, Brad Pitt, man, that guy just never gets old. <laughs> Great shape. Right? How are those Fight Club Brad Pitt abs coming along? They're never going to be the quality of Brad Pitt's. It does change the world. <laughs> I'm not looking to <laughs> don't even mess with that yet. Fight Club. I remember when there was this rumor going around that they were making this really controversial book into a movie and David Fincher was directing. And it, there was a time there, like, I didn't realize it was just a year after Thin Red Line, but there was a time there where there was, there were really special films, like kind of really edgy films that were challenging these, you know, a tour type directors that were just doing some incredible work. So. It was one that I really wanted to be a part of and I, 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 I lobbied to be a part of. And I remember bleaching my hair and my eyebrows white. We did one pass and I think it was Brad Pitt was like, um, said something about Billy Idol. You know, he was like blonder, you know? So we went, we went uh, even whiter with it. I really enjoyed being on that set because I got to watch uh, Brad, who's incredibly loose and, um, and naturalistic. You know, always does something a little different. And I've heard that Jen has said that the collaboration that he'd like to have is with Brad Pitt. Oh. Yes, so yeah. what message does Jen want to send out to Brad Pitt right now? I'm gonna it now. Yeah, it's, do it in Korean. He, he, he understands. <laughs> wow. Be confident, man. You got it. 